Welcome back, Rise Up 44 here on Nalio Gaming, checking out Victor Vran on the PlayStation 4. We're jumping right in. We have play, online, local co op, safe slot, switch world, options, and store. So let's jump right into the single player and see what this game's all about. Main campaign. Break the curse of Zagorabia. Zagorabia. <laughs> Break the curse of Zagorabia. Alright, so Zagorabia, which story would you like to play? You can always switch worlds without losing progress. Motorhead, which story would you like to play? Okay, so we have here select world we have two different worlds unlocked right from the start Zagaravia and Motorhead uh, Zagaravia main campaign break the curse of Zagaravia and then Motorhead fight the forces of evil with the might of Motorhead let's just go with the main campaign Hey, Mimont Games. Hey, Mimont Games presents Zagaravia, the fallen city, the land of no return, where darkness won and we demon hunters lost. One year ago, a plea for help summoned hunters to Zagaravia. Many answered the call. No one returned. I thought Adrian dead, until a raven delivered his message. He too summoned me to Zagaravia. He saw what I seek. Adrian is a friend, one of the precious few I have, and the only man who knows of my past, of the pact I made, and the demon powers I wield. Whatever haunts this cursed city, I will face to find my friend. Reach the entrance to Castle Zagor. Okay. Oh wow. It's rare that you can jump in a top down third person game like this. It's very rare. Okay, square is melee, X is jump. Okay, camera is right thumbstick. Movements left thumbstick. The city is eerily quiet. Not a human soul in sight. I like that you can jump off of things. That's kind of cool. Monsters have Whoa. claimed the streets. What was that? Dim light shine through the dusty windows. I wonder what horrors hide behind them. That's kind of cool. Oh, what do we got here? Just a normal door, I guess. I sense something hidden, something far more sinister than the monsters, something faint, 
like a whisper in the back of my mind. So there's cooldowns on my triangle and my circle. Drop gold. I really like that you can rotate the camera. It's simple. It's like a simple thing, but... Oh, there's gold in the pumpkins. Look at that. Oh, he got me! It's the first time I got hit. What's up with the gold everywhere? I'm not complaining. I'll take it. Oh, healing potion. We have 11 healing potions now. Press X to jump. Jump over the barricade. Heck yeah. I love gold. Jump then press X again when close to a wall to do a wall jump. Okay, simple enough. Jump and square does that pound. Hello. Who goes Press there? R3 or use the Hello? map. Some challenge Can you option. Hear me? The menu to view a map a of the area. voice in my head. What else? If you can hear me, jump now. Good boy. Now roll over. <laughs> Just kidding. Ooh, what do we got here? You know there are more of these lovely chests lying around. Can you find them? I'm gonna try. Treasure chest up there on the balcony. Come on, go get it. You can use the exercise. Ooh, there's 
dead body up here. And it gave me... Both. I love these boxes. You never know what you're going to get. So exciting. Okay. Sword hammer. Cool. So how do I equip the hammer? I want to try it out. Nice. Oh boy, let's go squish some bugs. Let's find some spiders. Checkpoint activated. What is that? No match for me. New Kodak entry. Gargantuan spider. Smash attack. Definitely like the sword better. It's quicker. I'm all about the quick fighting. It's my style. chest down there. Oh, well, let me jump over there anyway. Discovered Fallen Keep. I know this place. You're getting closer. Come on, open that door. Oh, watch out, Hunter. Those dummies look tough. They outnumber you. You should consider retreating. <laughs> Attack the dummies using your weapon's special attacks. Each weapon has a basic attack and two powerful special attacks. Look at those dummies with their red eyes and long noses. They're laughing at your feeble attacks. <laughs> Are you still fighting the dummies? Come on, put your back into it. Hit harder. I will, I will. My controller's dying. Give me a second. Maybe I should stop wasting my time on you, Hunter, and make friends with the dummies instead. Oh, a demon power. Where did you learn to do that? Hmm. Anyway, come. Meet me in the next room. I'm trapped in that box. Come on, break it.
wait, that's not me. Oh well, I must be in another dungeon. <laughs> That was awesome. That was really cool. I like how that flag thing kind of dropped down. And all right, what do we got here? What? That's cool. What? You can hit all three at once with the circle button. Alright. City gates. I okay. sense something shiny nearby. Let me give you a hint. It's bigger than a spider, but it is also full of treasure. And it is sitting on top looking down at you. Yeah, much more I mean the shotgun's cool, but I think I I just like the sword better. Well oh, I just saw where is it? Oh there it is, there's a chest up there. How do I get up there? This one's better. Yes, you found it. Good boy. What did you get? Something shiny. There's something about that voice, something I can't quite place. I've fought and slain many monsters in my line of work. The ones that talk are always the worst. Castle. Castle Zagar. Castle Zagar is the only remaining beacon of hope in this godforsaken city. There are survivors here, tough, grim and desperate. I wonder for how long I can use this place as my base of operations before the forces of dark sniff the living souls hidden behind its thick walls. It's a cool game. I like it. Select your outfit. Hunter's outfit. Cavalier's outfit. Vigilante's outfit. Samurai's outfit. This outfit grants overdrive automatically over time, but your weapon attacks will not guarantee or will not generate overdrive. It will allow you to use demon powers reliably 
and start encounters at full overdrive. If you want to create a specialized build focused on precision and critical strikes. Hmm. Playing a caster hero. The cavalier's outfit grants overdrive automatically over time, but your weapon attacks will not generate over overdrive. It will allow you to use okay, it's the same thing as the other one. If you favor a balanced playstyle. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with the hunter's outfit. Casual, recommended for players who are new to ARPGs or want a more relaxed gameplay. A standard game difficulty, strongly recommended for your first game. Hard mode, select this option if you want to test yourself against the most challenging enemies and encounters. Selecting this mode will make all monsters stronger and activate five hexes that raise the difficulty of the game. You will not be able to turn hexes off while playing on hard mode. Normal it is. Normal character. Normal characters suffer no penalties when they die. Hardcore character. Hardcore characters become normal characters when they die for the first time. They do not share their private stash with normal characters. Ooh, they got a private stash, huh? Let's just stick with normal. There are survivors after all this time. Castle Zagora still stands. A refuge from the horrors outside. Bounty Highlander's outfit. Oh. Now we got a new outfit. What? Bounty Highlander's outfit. Slay epic monsters in the following locations. Demon World, Whispering Burrows, The Larder, The Sesways, Windows Mine, Destroy, Favor. Oh, okay, so I need to, I need to do it though. I need to complete those tasks, it seems. Oh, great. Another hunter comes to save the day. Maybe we stand a chance against the countless hordes now. Or maybe you'll just die like all the others. My name is Victor Vran, and I didn't expect this kind of warm welcome in Zagaravia. I'm looking for a friend. I won't stay a minute longer after I find him. Listen, Vran. I don't care. Just one rule. Don't promise the impossible to Her Majesty. Every day I endeavor to convince her to give up hope of saving this city. And with you around, she will become even more determined to stay and die in this cursed castle. If this happens, I will hold you personally responsible. You... Yeah, 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 I hear you. Praise heavens. God has answered our prayers in this hour of need and sent you here. I am Casimir, servant of his will and patriarch of Zagoravia. Wow, look at all the gold. I'm Damien the Alchemist. I can help you with useful supplies, like potions and bombs. And you can help me with your gold. Transmutation, huh? That'll be interesting, whatever that means. What a cool map.
Alright, so we have some work to do. We know that we have a home base, we can trade, upgrade, we got some story to get through. Here's our map. I'm definitely into this game. And that's just story mode. So that's where I'm going to end my first gameplay with Victor Vran by Hamamon Games here on the PlayStation 4. I appreciate you watching on Nelio Gaming. If you haven't already done so, please click that like button. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at RiseUp44 and at Nelio Gaming. And subscribe to me here on Nelio Gaming. So I'm digging this game. It's, it's pretty cool that it's a top-down, third-person uh, melee, you know, RPG type game but you can jump and that's kind of rare for this style of game it just kind of took me by surprise and I'm I'm into it I like that there's the treasure chest like collectible type hidden secrets and I'm all about hidden items and games especially collectibles let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and I'll see you next time Thanks for watching.